Hello there. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Delete which time zone is applicable to your good selves whilst watching this video. Hello. I'm John Perkins. You may know me from such in ministry of information films such as Trees. Can you truly not see the woods for them? And the 49th Penny Farthing Brigade. Victorian Britain's forgotten light cavalry regiments. But right now I'm talking in my capacity as co-founder of Outlands Terrain. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you hear correctly. We have not gone quietly into that good night. We just went quiet for seven, eight months due to unforeseen circumstances. But we are back and we are fighting fit. As I say, I'm John Perkins. Uh, I am half of the brains behind this outfit uh, of creating destructible terrain. And we, I am going to be talking to you about the broad spectrum of good news and bad news that has been plaguing us over the last few months, several months even, sorry. I'm going to start with the bad news. Shock horror, I hear you cry. I can't understand why anyone would start with the good news and end with the bad news, because that's just setting you up to uh, failure and feeling rubbish. So we're going to start with the bad news uh, but luckily, it wasn't bad, bad news that affected us um, in in the grand scheme of things. Um, myself uh, and my family and the technician and his clan all came down with COVID. Unfortunately, neither myself or the technician consulted our diaries and we didn't come down with it at the same time. Uh, myself... Uh, and my family came down with it just before Christmas and uh, the technician and his family came down with it after Christmas. Uh, so that was slightly inconvenient uh, in regards to working because, of course, we were two weeks in self-isolation, so we didn't pass it on to anybody else. Luckily, uh, touch wood, we came out of it relatively unscathed. Uh, the adults uh, of the equation probably have, have, we've lost a few more marbles uh, due to the fact that we felt like death warmed up, but the kids got off relatively lightly. Um, this solidifies the uh, awfulness that COVID can be in, into the fact that it is a random encounters chart, uh, like in any, uh, any good RPG. Uh, the worst you roll, of course, the worse symptoms you get, the better you roll, the better you get. Myself, um, my other half, the technician and his other half all rolled about, say, about 14. 12, 13, 14. We've all felt like death warmed up. I've never felt so ill. I've never seen my uh, good lady as ill as she was. Um, and... It, it was almost the mirror image uh, for the technician and his other half. Luckily, like I say, the kids got off lightly. They all rolled about 17, 18, 19. So they all had a temperature, feeling of a dicky stomach that lasted a day. Um, that They were falling. So the main... Uh, the main process, uh, main process was trying to uh, keep them in line uh, whilst we felt like death, but also to try and keep them entertained so they didn't go absolutely start raving mad because they couldn't get out due to us being in self-isolation, which is all good fun, all good fun. So luckily, like I say, we came out the other side all fighting fit. Uh, minus a few more uh, marbles, uh, but reasonably okay. Um, for anyone out there who has suffered worse than uh, us, you have my deepest sympathies. It is an awful, awful thing. And hopefully we will be slowly getting out of it. Now we can all get out, mingle, and hopefully build up our immune systems. So fingers crossed for that. <laughs> so we go on to... I say the, the middle ground of bad news, uh, my, uh, my business partner, the technician, 
uh, has uh, other business interests in the back, uh, background as well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a certain amount of trouble uh, came about from that. Luckily, I think I managed to steer him away from uh, committing murder uh, through our many staff meetings in the pub. Um, but yes, that took up a good couple of months trying to sort that out. Light at the end of the tunnel, it is all sorted. And now we are looking at plain sailing. All fingers crossed. We go on to the the neutral zone of good news and bad news. It's neither good nor bad. I've been involved in the longest house move in British history. I'm not going to say world history because I'm sure there's someone else, uh, someone else who's probably gone through a longer house move. But it just seems like it's gone on forever um, through various things, children's illnesses, holidays, appointments uh, and the whole uh, the whole spectrum of life uh, happening has made this um, an, a trial uh, of a of a house move i'm thinking about writing off to the guinness book of records to see if we can get in it um, because i do feel that we have been going on for ever and ever and ever but Light at, again, another light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully we will be moving soon. We now go in, get into the good news spectrum uh, of what's been happening over the last several months. We have upgraded. Cheeky. But we have upgraded from our shed Mark 1, which was comparable to a Hawker Hind fighter. A bit drafty. Uh, a bit rattly, not quite fit to modern use, but good enough for us to start to our shed, Mark II. We now move into the higher end of the good news. Uh, just before we started trading back in March last year, uh, the technician and his good lady uh, received their latest bundle of joy in the form of a new baby girl. As you good folk out there who have small people uh, can well attest to, it is an awesomely crazy, knackering time uh, getting used to um, a small person, the late night feeding, uh, constant changing, making sure that the little one is all right, health visits, the groups, and everything everything in between um, has been absolutely fantastic distraction to be fair. Uh, and just an absolutely wonderful addition to the Outland Terrain family. Uh, on another small person note, uh, my middle child uh, received her final, fingers crossed, her final surgery. Uh, she had keyhole surgery to close her last hole in her heart. Yes, unfortunately, my middle little one came into this world with three holes on her heart. But unfortunately, uh, at seven months when um, she had uh, open heart surgery to fix them, the bigger one, the, the bigger hole that she had, masked this other one and they didn't find this out until after she had been closed up and an echo had been ran they were hoping that it was going to close uh, on its own but unfortunately it has not now she's uh, now she's five the awesome folk at uh, the leicester royal uh, heart unit the children's heart unit made the brave decision to go yeah we're going in, we're going to finish this, and we're going to close it up. Don't worry about... It was two weeks for, of worry for us, but it was three uh, three days lying in a hospital bed causing mischief for the middle child. Um, when I went in, after she had the procedure done, uh, all she cared about was the biscuits off the biscuit tray. 
and as long as that I kept up the steady flow whilst she was just lounging around recovering. To say that she approaches uh, every problem, uh, task, situation, like a Sheepton tank through a brick wall, would be an understatement to a Sheepton tank actually going through a brick wall. Indomitable is a word that I would use to associate with my, uh, my little one. Um, and she just bounces back from pretty much everything. Even when um, she came out of open heart surgery, she was going, right, all right then, what else are you gonna throw at me? Come on. So hopefully she will carry on this uh, attitude for the rest of her life, which sort of is awesome, but is also worrying. Uh, I'm just glad that I'm not a multimillionaire because I feel that I may have brought in to this world an arch villain. I'll let that sink in. So hopefully <laughs> I can steer away, steer, steer her away from that course uh, to much more, uh, uh, a much more good role um, for her. So. There we have it. Um, in amongst all this, uh, we have, like I say, we have been designing, we have been printing off uh, our proofs, we have been uh, making stuff to see uh, for our difficult second album. Uh, we've also been doing uh, a good trade uh, for, uh, with you good folk out there in the wargaming land. Uh, so that's been keeping us busy and quiet as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. I hope I've not bored you to absolute tears uh, with our shenanigans. I hope I've mildly entertained you. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, so watch this space. Uh, the next couple of videos will be sneak peeks. Uh, more detailed sneak peeks. Uh, I will also be telling you what we've also been doing with that poll, which was our last uh, um, our last communication before we went quiet. Uh, I'll be telling you the the research that we've been do uh, doing in, the, in that regards, um, and it will be just general good stuff of the, what we've been doing. I hope you like it. Again, fingers crossed. I have a lot of fingers crossed. That, that's why I think I've got, uh, got problems with the fingers, but there we go. So, without further ado, I will bid you uh, a good day, a good evening, uh, a good night. Like I say, delete which, uh, which is applicable to your good selves. I hope you've been mildly entertained. I hope you've been informed, and I, I will hope to speak to you very, very soon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Cheerio.